In the UK, the custom of having an X at the end of a message started out to symbolise a kiss. Oh, <laughs> I thought you'd lost your teeth there. It was originally used between lovers. However, today it is more frequently used to show that the relationship between the two messages is friendly and not formal. This means the X is a bit like an emoji. It is normal to use it between friends. It is a way to make any written message seem a little bit more friendly. Most of us certainly wouldn't use it at work, particularly in a message to a boss or to a potential business client. Between work colleagues, it's probably okay outside of any work situation. One X is quite common. However, you may want to boost the level of friendliness by adding an extra X or even a total of three Xs. We're three X's, aren't we? We're always three X's. Yeah, yeah, end of every message. Every single message. Sometimes I forget or I'm busy and then I think, oh, I haven't added the kisses. So go back into so it. I'll, I'll go and do it quickly. Yeah, yeah, otherwise I'd think you're in a mood with me. I know. In a response, I always check the number of kisses that I'm given before I add mine. Because mm. you don't want to seem too mean or stingy or unfriendly, but at the same time, you don't want to be too effusive. Sometimes you'll see a C amongst the X's, but don't worry, it's just somebody with a typo <laughs> incorrectly, you know, pressing the X's and Going getting too a fast. C. Yeah, I've done that several times. You get CXX and it looks like, you know, sort of some sort of Roman numerals. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my friends used to say, like, it was like looking down on a hug. Like if you were looking down. Like, oh, the C one. Yeah. Oh, it was where yeah. we mistyped it. We'd say, oh, it's a hug. Except everyone's kind of hugging the same way, no one's hugging back. <laughs> Should it be capitalised? Very often you'll see the first X in a sentence as a capital, because, you know, the text will automatically make it a capital if you've done a full stop at the end of your message. Mm. But I would say capital or lowercase, it's all the same. Mm -hmm. Warning, if a boyfriend or girlfriend stops adding kisses to the messages, this is a very bad sign. If someone uses a lot of X's, but they do that with everyone, then it's a big sign that they're not being flirty. They're just naturally affectionate and friendly. XOXO is typically used in America to represent kisses and hugs at the end of a text, message or letter. It is often used as a way to express affection or as a way to say goodbye. In the UK, the phrase hugs and kisses is wildly used. Wildly <laughs> used? Do you mind? Oh, sorry. <laughs> hugs and kisses! <laughs> The phrase, hugs and kisses, is wild. No, I <laughs> You say that. I can't say wildly without saying wildly. In the UK, the phrase, hugs and kisses, is widely used. However, you don't very often see XO or XOXO. Sometimes, mm. but not particularly. The earliest use of X and O to indicate kisses was identified by the Oxford English Dictionary as appearing in the 1878 book Seaforth by English novelist Florence Montgomery. Here it appears that X and O are both ways to indicate kiss. According to a 2014 article in the Washington Post, there is no definitive answer to how a cross came to mean a kiss, and even less is known about how an O came to signify a hug. The Oxford English Dictionary attributes the first recorded use of X as a kiss to British curate and naturalist Gilbert White in 1763. This is how his letter ended. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not give us a like and hit subscribe to follow us on YouTube.